<laughs> Jack, you're drinking a daiquiri. I'm drinking a da- well, a pina colada. Do you like pina coladas? And walks in the rain. Yes, I know you do. If you're not into yoga, Jefferson Reserve. Nice. Which not we've learned ocean. not the ocean, Jefferson. Not the ocean. Not the, and uh, Padron is what I'm smoking today. I like a Churchill, but a Churchill might kill me now. Shall we uh, commence the jiggle? Let's commence Enemy of the State. Ooh, Touchstone. Go. I've seen this one before. Oh, I've seen this movie. Yeah, this yeah, with the right, road and the Nicholas lightning Cage. and the clouds. Yep. Yeah, it hits the tree. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Has that guy ever played a good character in the history of cinema? John Voight? Yeah. <laughs> John Voight? Angelina yeah, Jolie's like, dad. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't believe he's ever been like, oh, John Voight, the hero of the show. Remember when he saved all those kittens? Like, no. <laughs> and then the not. puppy? I remember when he drowned the puppy in the five-gallon bucket. I remember that movie. Oh, right. Rocky Patel. Well I like done. Rocky Patel. What do you have it now? Like Maduro's, double Maduro's, triple Maduro's? You, in, you into those heavy boys, Joel? No. See, I don't smoke enough anymore where a double Maduro would also kill me. The uh, double Lajero, La Flor Dominicana is the cigar you give people when you're playing poker with them because they'll be nauseous in like five minutes. I'll take a nice backwoods. They sell them in a bag of just loose cigars, I believe. <laughs> with wooden tips? <laughs> the no, 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 it's just a bag. It's just a bag of just, just a cigar. No wrappers. It's a, it's a stop and shop bag, too, that you buy from another grocer. So how can you watch this movie and not think of Snowden? And, and who is Snowden? He's a Bitcoin guy. Bitcoins. Right? Oh, no, I hate when this happens. You're out for a lovely walk in the park and someone Batman is stabs you in the angry. neck with a needle. Ooh, look at that font. That generic satellite noise, they've been using that for 40 years. It's like the satellite sound like. Dr. Davis, telephone please, Dr. Davis. Who decided that's what satellites sound like? That's Once what they it was sound decided, like. everybody agreed. <laughs> it was like, oh yeah, it's a satellite noise, yeah. <laughs> Straight from NASA, in space, satellites. all that noise in space. It's so loud out there. You don't suppose this is the first guy Will Smith slapped? Larry Cash in the hospital with a broken jaw. Nothing. I think so. Nothing. No. You're gonna let no, that one go. Not. That was an expert slap that we saw. He's been doing that. It's been, it's been perfected. Have you ever slapped a man? Any of you? Sure. Of course. <laughs> I don't know. Like a real slap, like a get a hold of yourself. Like a foreplay slap. A wide arm. Definitely in high school. Really. We're going there. It is fish. No, I mean, it tastes like... Who goes to a diner and orders the trout? The trout? Really? Somebody suspicious the CIA should be following. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I'll have the trout. Oh, we got another one, Joe. Sky ordered the trout at the diner. (laughs) Round up the boys, get the surveillance going. You know, they have really great VCRs down there. A lot of times they can see like a good VCR. <laughs> you ain't running this by nobody. I never did buy that mini disc player. It's for the best. No way. That's it a regretful purchase. But the sound quality is so... So, so <laughs> mediocre. So... <laughs> that 128-bit encoding... Boy, he's sweaty. <laughs> I mean, you try eating uh, cured meats all day and, and weighing 380 pounds. All right. <laughs> this is Daniel Zavitz. He's a nature photographer with some government grants. One of them is for monitoring migratory animals of Canadian geese. Ugh, Canadian geese are the worst. <laughs> the worst, man. Awful. Come down here, take jobs American geese should have. (laughs) (laughs) Get out American soil. Right? Come on. Clean up after yourself. Got our grass everywhere. 
aren't they like actually like not from Canada? Isn't are Canadian geese like native to like the middle of North America or something? Well, they're migratory, so probably one of their points of origin is further north. Okay. Yes. Yes. Name for John Canada, the ornithologist who separated the species from other geese. The Canada goose is Connecticut's largest native waterfowl species. Not named for the nation. Named for John, the ornithologist. Correct. Oh God! What the hell? Oh my God! This is this is. We should, Joel. I'm gonna give you a write up on Canadian geese. I'm learning a tremendous amount about them. Hmm. Wow! Look at this. There it is. Canada geese not for the nation. I'm still reading about Canada geese, so you guys. Well, the movie, movie picks up. You really need something to do. If you're gonna bring up geese and not like dig in on it, Joel, that's just ah. writing, in my opinion. Is this guy a hacker? No, he's a uh, wildlife preserver who captured the murder on his wildlife camera. How are they going to bring up Canada geese and then not go into the origin? I, well, how do they have this the actor? Gen- Whoa! Did you see what he did to that image? He enhanced it. Enhance. Oh, yeah. Give me some more enhance. Punch in. Oh, I want to see the license plate. Oh, 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 my goodness gracious. I'm surprised the goose didn't do that, and that was a human, because yeah, they are, are as uncomfortable assholes. Right? He was attacked I, from behind. Typical I goose I can see attacks. a Canadian goose doing that to a human. Death from behind. Why, why has it got to be a Canadian goose, huh, Adam? Well, well they're actually called fun... Canada goose. You know what? I just realized that. They wouldn't be Canadian geese. No. No. They would be Canada geese. Yeah. They're, they're new Named for uh, John Canada. Who John, John Canada. Him. Good guy. I don't know if you guys are serious. Let's look, let's, let's look him up next. Yeah. No, we're dead serious. We just looked it up while you were gone. So is it, I, I was uh, John Canada, the goose guy. John Canada, Jingleheimer Smith. That's my yeah. name too. He's a uh, ornithologist. Oh, I used to be pretty uh, ornithology, but I went to therapy and he got better. Well. <laughs> To a Lenny Bloom, a former anti war activist. Oh, he published check a that out. of left wing newsletters on various political subjects. That's oh, Jack oh, White, Jack the Black. famous oh, musician. I, okay, I closed my Canada Goose tabs. I'm not reading about them anymore. Yeah, but they're still in your history, so we can go back to it. Were you really reading about Canada Geese? No, I, I was, yes. We need to know about it. The movie brings them up and then doesn't. Just abandon that whole arc. Doesn't develop the character. Nothing. Doesn't establish the plot point. Yep. Does absolutely nothing for it. Right. Just leaves it into our laps. Yep. What are we supposed to do? So what is this movie about exactly? Oh, never mind. It's about two hours. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It is about Canada Goose as we've just uncovered all right we're back to the my name is oh, Earl guy. ruthie uh mine's not working ruthie either. go away i'm not going to tell you about canada geese <laughs> alexa add lava lamp to my shopping list now everybody watching this is having a lava lamp added to their shopping list people's priorities tend to change he's got a point there sweetie, point there, sweetie. <laughs> i mean who is this he is talking about ending personal privacy ending personal privacy I missed something. They're not talking about Google, are they? <laughs> no. No, Google's all good. Google's, Google's all good. Google respects yeah. your privacy. Yeah. Yeah. They they, they don't be evil. Yeah, nothing evil about them. No. I, I love the quick protocol because yeah. it protects me. They only sell your information to advertisers that they want to. That way it limits the, the reach of the breach. The highest caliber of advertisers. That's right. <laughs> only the <laughs> very really best advertisers. Upstanding ones. <laughs> Yeah, what is this place? Original it's got Christmas decorations, but it's uh, a st- strategic set. It, it, it's, it does. It's fascist FAO Schwartz. Brian, can we get some more? That's an incredible. The big. I mean, you know, wow. Blimp cam. We got the police officer. The blimp cam. cam. And, uh, two ATM cameras, but this. Why they got a blimp cam? I thought we were like satellites that whole time, but apparently it was a blimp. Everything's done by blimp now. This rotate seventy-five degrees around the. Oh my vertical. God! Look at that technology! Holy They're shit! They're holographic cameras. Can you imagine that? That that beats enhance, honestly. Like rotate seventy-five degrees around the vertical is the new enhance. That's the most egregious technical ah. we've seen in all these movies we've watched. Yeah. What do you think ah. it is? Oh, look at this bag yeah, analysis! Like Holy this shit! This is amazing. Ah. This is some gourmet ah. shit, Joel. 
He didn't secrete it into any of my bodily orifices. Whatever Hello. it is, I don't have it. Could we look at them? My bodily orifices? My bodily orifices? Tell me more about the bodily orifices. Suspenders. You guys own any suspenders? I just got on, uh, on my overalls. Trust. Do not. I do not own a pair of suspenders. I own full grain leather chaps. Do they come with suspenders? They don't need them, baby. There it is. Actually, I've got two pairs of full grain leather chaps. You have two pairs of yeah, chaps. Yeah, full grain leather. Ass full or assless? There's no such thing as ass full chaps. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Guys, if it wasn't for geese, none of this would have happened. yellow blocker sunglasses. Oh, wait, no. You know, you're Think not wrong. about that. Right? If there were no geese, this guy wouldn't be watching the migratory patterns of the geese. He wouldn't have that videotape. That videotape wouldn't be here. Bobby wouldn't be in that position. Location's always the same. Same time, same place. 3 p.m. ferry, Gibson Island. The old mailbox chalk. Did you ever blow up a mailbox when you were a kid? No. There is a good mailbox story, but it's not something I'm going to tell while we're being recorded. <laughs> Keyhole. This is all practice for adult swim for that guy. There it is. Did you hear it? There, yep, you did. Oh, that's a satellite. I'm a satellite, Joel. Weapons away. Tally ho, lads. The game is afoot. A fixed bayonets. <laughs> you can see the whites of their eyes. Oh. I was wondering if it was one of those like weird Corvette split glass versus split glass things. Oh. What did you do? I, so I rolled over uh, after getting old. And I tore my meniscus. Did you really do it? Like yeah, doing I was something nothing? Oh. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh, man. Dude, that is the absolute worst thing of getting old. It's just like hurting yourself ah. sleeping wrong. <laughs> uh, what happened to you? Oh, I I reached for toilet paper incorrectly. <laughs> it's like I should have had a but like in high school it was like I <laughs> I jumped off a three story building and I sprained my toe. <laughs> but like now I was putting the milk back and I slipped the disc. I can't even, I can't even sneeze incorrectly. <laughs> I was eating MREs up in my office upstairs for like four days before somebody brought me crutches. Why do some cars just That's why you want to be careful with nitro. The El the El Camino on fire is just its natural be state. With nitro? It just <laughs> This this movie is about thirty minutes uh, too long. This movie's only thirty yeah, minutes. Yeah, it started an hour too soon. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's surprising how poorly this it's... movie is held up, considering how well. Demolition Man was amazing. Honestly, I was going to watch it again that night later. All right. I couldn't believe how good Demolition right? Man was. That was yeah. like an actually like. I mean, I, not I, that's on my top maybe fifteen movies. So is this because nobody cares about privacy anymore? And the idea that the NSA is spying on everybody is like... Whatever. I think the problem is that it, pe people care about their privacy, but they don't care about it the right way. They, they don't understand their privacy, right? It's They, they want the government to, to... So, Jack, I was in uh, China a couple years ago and talked to some people privately. And they said, like, when we leave our house, we only bring our phone. We don't need keys. We don't need money. We don't need an ID. It's all on our phone. And I said, aren't you, like, worried the government sees all your private stuff? And they were surprised yeah. by my question and then what the government's job is Ooh. to take care of our privacy yeah and i feel like we're getting pretty close to that sort of an they don't have an fbi this. in china <laughs> sorry no they have people to do things they have the people's fbi yeah right it's uh people don't understand privacy but they will very soon it's the uh queen it's the cinderella song don't know what you got till it's gone where would you put a bug phone yeah, it's always with them. We had a uh, group of execs went to a business conference overseas, and older guys, right in their sixties, bumped into and flirted with by twenty-year-old women, discovers his phone's gone, and he's asking around for the phone. They run into the group again. Phone's back in his pocket. You're kidding me. So. Uh, 
I was I was desperate for some sort of lesson out of this, but I feel like it's just don't be an idiot. I think we all the lesson they hit they hit the lesson in like minute yep, yep, five. Yeah, it is. There it is. Late on us. Which was just ah, geese. Can the geese. you can't trust geese. That's it. When I was a kid, we had a cop in the neighborhood, and he had three geese. They were watch geese. You're for real? Classic cop move. Three geese in his garage. Okay. Yeah. They'd come down, quacking at you. They'd stop at the end of the driveway. I don't know how they knew. Were they Canada? They're white geese? We don't have to be talking about white geese versus other colored geese. We're all, you know, we need to strive for geese equity. All geese are assholes, regardless of color. That's true. That's true. It's more of a speciest thing. We don't discriminate geese based on their color. It's on their behavior. Oh, Gregor's. Gregor's is great. You found you found the one. So is there? So what's your favorite <sighs> Will Smith movie? This is clearly not mine, but I'm struggling to think of like what Independence Day. Men in Black. The uh, the vampire one. Oh, okay. what what's that movie where Will Smith is like a superhero? Hitchcock. Oh, yes. Hitchcock. Where he's Back. drunk all the time. Yeah. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Men in Black is the best Will Smith movie. Men in Black is probably the best Will Smith movie. He did some artistic stuff, too. I think but that was pretty good. What did you say? Wild Wild West? Ah. You. <laughs> I, Robot. I am Legend. That would be mine. Although, you know, there's a movie company called The Asylum that track upcoming releases, and they can write a script and produce a movie in 12 weeks. And so they look for upcoming movies, and they make a rip-off title, and they rip off the movie, and they release it right when that blockbuster is released. Check out Asylum. They have ripped off every movie you've ever seen with look-alike titles and look-alike characters. And it's got, like, uh, what, Ian from 90210 and uh, Christina Aguilera and all kinds of your 90s can't work anymore. And they make millions hand over fist. Oh my God, look at this. An American independent film company and distributor that focuses on producing low budget director video films is notorious for producing titles that capitalize on productions by major studios, often using titles and scripts very similar to those of current blockbusters in order to lure customers. Wait, what the hell is this? Okay, they made a movie called Thor, God of Thunder, which came out right when Thor Love and Thunder came out. The? Top Gunner Danger Zone. Top Gunner Danger Wait, Zone. Are... Probably better than Top Gun Maverick. Jurassic, yeah, domination, Jurassic Domination, right when Jurassic World one. Domination came out. Battle for Pandora, right when Where the Water came out. Bullet Train wow. Down, right when Bullet oh, Train came Bullet out. Bullet Train Down. This is, I am Legend, you're right. Uh, I, am I am Omega. Omega. I am Omega. There you go. It's all green screen, cheesy graphics. They're awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah. My mind is blown. He was in Anchorman 2, which is my favorite movie. Because it exposes the corruption of media due to the 24-hour news cycle introduced by globalization of media broadcasting capabilities all right boys i need to i need to call us what this is joel if you'll press the button so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna stop the recording now